Hi, this is Orwar Ramos from Orwar.com. Um, so, just to kind of recap, in a previous video, I went ahead and created a hidden menu item to DocBan. And let me explain the reason for this. So, um, the alias for this is Documents. So, if I just add that in here, it should take me to the main DocBan page. So I wanted to create a menu item because, first of all, it was required. Um, and I kind of wanted to have this nice URL structure with documents being the start of it. Um, but at the same time, um, I put it in a hidden menu because sometimes you don't necessarily want people to go to your main document section, um, mainly because even if they do go into it, they have to go through the, the document structure to get to, you know, the file, which might work for you, and then again, it may not. So if you would rather have kind of a more thorough uh, listing of all your, your documents and files, uh, one thing you could do is go and create your very own page that you're going to use as a document page. So let's say, let's say just to make sure that they don't um, conflict in terms of like their aliases, I'm going to call this one file. Um, that's really the only kind of thing that you would have to, to, to be aware of. So if the main document, document page has an alias of documents, we can't reuse that same alias in our kind of custom document page. So either I would call this one doc, documents, but maybe make the alias doc, or maybe it's a download section, right? And I can make that one that's a download. Um, it's kind of up to you, um, whichever one kind of makes the most sense. Um, so it's still the that alias to that. So in this case, we want to get everything. And this is super easy in document list. So essentially, you say, I want to get as many levels deep as you have. And I'm going to use category ID equal to zero. And this corresponds to the root. So what it means is get all of the categories. And let's the category order by title. So that's a, one of the option keys you have available. Um, so let me go ahead and save this. Come back here to the home page. So now if I visit this documents page, I can see I have all of our categories listed. However, it's kind of all expanded, so it might be kind of unwieldy for somebody to just kind of look at right off the bat. So I'm going to use the show collapsed option. And go ahead and save that. So now if I refresh again, it's a lot more concise, but at the same time, people can expand this list, then they can see everything that they need to, and it's all in one page. And if for whatever reason, maybe listing the files is a bit much. Maybe you don't want to list the files. Just change the layout. So instead of use nested table, you can just use nested category layout. Save that. Refresh. And now the output is a lot more concise because instead of you know, files, it's just the folders. 
So you just have the listing of the folders. If your links are turned on, then people can click on the link and then be taken to that particular page. And if you'll see here, I don't really have an indicator right now of how many files might be in this category. But just like anything, <laughs> there's an option for that. Um, I believe it would be show category count. A lot of these I'm just kind of remembering off the top of my head. So if I make a mistake, it's my fault. Let's see here. There we go. So show category count is turned on. Now if we expand these, we can see exactly how many files are listed. And by default, there's an option for do not show the zero category. The categories with zero files don't show, you know, parentheses zero for those. That's why those don't have anything after them. But this gives us a really quick indicator of which ones have files. We click on one and be taken straight into it. So there you go. Um, just one last thing to add to this. Um, at the moment, I haven't created a menu item, but that would be the last step in this process. So create a new menu item. And the main thing here is to just kind of create a unique alias. So instead of documents, I'm going to choose docs in this case. And then I'm going to create a link to a single article. And then I'm going to pick my special documents page here that's using docman list and go ahead and save and close. And so now I have this document menu item with a very nice forward slash docs link. Um, and my article here um, Contains all of the. Go back. Contains all of our document categories listed very simply on a single page.